before the hour now. They say that if you wish hard enough, your dream might come true. And that is the case for two young boys. One, an Israeli, and the other, a Palestinian. Both are fighting cancer. And both dreamed that maybe one day they could meet Mickey Mouse. Good Morning America Sunday co-host Antonio Mora tells you the story about people who helped make the boys' wishes come true and how a mouse brought them together. He bet you don't have that in the Stone Age. For Henry Landworth, the dream of giving dying kids one last hope became reality in 1986. That's when he created Give Kids the World, a nonprofit vacation resort outside Walt Disney World that provides six days of all expense paid fun for terminally ill children and their families. The children come here, they're sick. They, they, all they know is about the hospital, doctors, needles. And all of a sudden, they find themselves almost like in paradise. So, uh, and it, it gives them something to live for. Something good is happening all of a sudden. On this day, Give Kids the World is doing something good for two very special guests. Eight and a half year old Matas Kashda from Palestine and 11 year old Hayam Salinas from Israel. Both have been fighting cancer since they were five, and for both of them, the chance to meet Mickey Mouse was a dream come true, a dream made possible by the Washington-based Foundation for Hospice and Home Care. You reach a point where you can't do much more, where medicine seems to be inadequate, and here's something they can do when, you know, when the medical remedies are, are inadequate. For Hyam, the monster is called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. His family thought he had actually beaten the disease when he went into remission last year, but a recent relapse has Hyam back on chemotherapy and his family searching desperately for a matched donor for a bone marrow transplant. Young Matas has already received a bone marrow transplant to fight Burkitt's lymphoma, but doctors say his battle is far from over. Once the most active youngster in his neighborhood, Matas can barely climb a staircase now without exhausting himself. These children have more in common than disease and a desire to meet Mickey Mouse. Uh, they have in common what all children want, which is essentially the, the right to grow up and live in peace. But peace is not something these boys have come by too often in their short lives. With tensions still running high in their homelands, violence is as much a part of their everyday life as cancer is. Still, for these few days, the boys and their families will transcend the barriers different languages, cultures, religions, and ideologies with the hope for a common miracle. Many children came here and they only had 48 hours to live and we're finding out that they were still living after six months. Though it's difficult to imagine the vision made reality here affects children in ways that helps them fight serious illnesses. It's easy to see that kids, no matter where they're from, can understand the language of hopes and dreams that Walt Disney created. For the families of these newfound soulmates, this is more than just a chance to capture some treasured memories. It's also a chance to deliver a message. We're from different sides, but I would hope that people would learn from this. I know I have. Even though they're not aware of all of what's going on back home, this is the most beautiful thing, getting them together, because that is the way of getting peace around the world. We have a tendency to focus on global issues, and we look at statistics, and we look at theories, and you don't always understand what that means until you see the application. And if you look at those two boys, you know, all they want is the chance to be boys, and to enjoy life and not be fearful. And we should never lose sight of that.